right to the moon. What you know about chewing rum? What you know about pulling up? Hit in the truck, baby, bitch, you fall in love. All of my niggas on go, none of my niggas no hope. All of my niggas want smoke. All of my niggas together, we can't find the bottom. We used to wait each other. I just know I look insane. Excuse me, I just woke up. Like, I literally just woke up. But, if you don't know, now you know. Oh my god, I never filmed a video this early. If you don't know, now you know. My name is Sifa. Pronounced S I. Pronounced. Pronounced. Yeah, pronounced S I F A. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, now you know. My name is Sifa. Pronounced. I can't even get it right. If you don't know, now you know. My name is Sifa, spelled S-I-F-A. Pronounced Sifa, not Sefa, not Sophia, not Sophia, not Sifa. Definitely not Sifa, so don't call me Sifa. Call me Sifa. Alright, so boom, we finally got that out of the way. Wow. It's 5 a.m. Like, it's literally 5 a.m., bro. 5 a.m. I ain't capping. Today, we're going to do... Today basically is gonna be like my day in a life as a LSU student type shit. <laughs> you already know. You already know how to get and go. You already know. But like I said, it's 5 a.m. and I'm finna get ready to go to the gym. Matter of fact, it's something that I wanna do. I've never done this before, right? So I bought, um, whatchamacallit? I had bought some pre workout like, you know, two weeks ago. And like I never used it before. Like I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Cause like I be seeing crazy things about uh, pre-workout and how motherfuckers be dropping. Like no, I'm not sure. I ain't trying to be one of them. But I've been doing mad research on like the best pre-workout for me. So Prolific was like the best one. It doesn't give you no itch. If you know anything about pre-workout you get like a tingly fiery and itchy sensation like when it starts kicking in but I, I can't handle that so I made sure to get a I made sure to get a pre-workout that has no beta alphanamine I think that's how you say it alpha I don't know how you say it but it ain't it don't got that little beta alphanamine whatever the fuck it's called so I'm gonna go ahead and take that <laughs> before we get ready to go to our workout Oh shoot, first off, hold on. Where's the scoop thingy, my jigger? Oh! I can't waste this, bro. It was too expensive. Oh my god, I keep wasting it. Okay. So, come on, get it together, bro. First thing I want to do, though, is take my core feel right. If you know, you know. Ooh, there's something in my water. Fuck it, it's my water. Watch how it. It says you're supposed to put one drop, but one drop is a little bit too bitter. I mean, it's peppermint uh, flavored, which I'm call it. Yeah, peppermint flavored, but I feel like two drops is best. So might as well. I mean, nothing bad has happened yet. I've been taking this for a good minute. All right, we gonna gulp this down in like ten seconds. Ready? Ready? Okay, that. Ready? <laughs> I'm saying ready. Like you can even come drink this shit with me. All right, wrap five, four, three, two, one, go. tastes bad but it doesn't taste mmm you know what I'm saying I got this liquid core fill from Walmart y'all can do whatever you want with that information but no nah, y'all need to get on this little core fill wave I promise you so many good benefits okay now I'm trying to find this little pre-workout scoop oh the scoop not even that big all right let's hope nothing bad happens nothing bad ain't gonna happen you know yeah yeah let's hope nothing bad happens so how do you even take pre-workout? I be seeing folks just be taking it to the head. I think, nah, let me goop. Let me YouTube it. How do you take pre-workout? Girl, y'all not finna catch me lacking. I am not finna be looking crazy out here. How to, ooh, how to take pre-workout. Okay, y'all doing too much. I need straight answers. There's no reason why it should be a four minute video on how to take a pre-workout. You know what? 
Forget it, we ball. Ooh. Let's go. a bad idea it's still still under my tongue you know what we're just gonna put it in the it's still a full scoop we do have to try this again oh shit ready oh one forget a countdown let's go What the hell? Why did I do that to myself? Ugh. Why does my stomach, oh, my stomach feel funny? Oh, my stomach. And people be really dry scooping this? How do y'all do that? Y'all are insane. My stomach feels so bloated now. Oh, all right, so how do I know this stuff working? I took it, let's see. Oh my God, it's six o'clock. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a good 10 minutes. I'm gonna come back and see if anything happens. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. I don't feel, I don't feel a difference, but I look cute though. I look cute. Anyways, let's go to the gym. Okay, so I kind of forgot to kind of, I, I didn't film like myself at the UREC. I wish I did because the LSU UREC is so fly. Like it's so top tier. I wish I was able to like record my workout there. But then like during this week, like when I was recording and stuff, I was too busy. So like I didn't have like a free day where I could just like just record my workouts because like that's really time consuming. But now that I'm back home, I just like, you know, I guess I could show you now because like I have time. But anyways, this is leg day so like on leg days i do five minutes on a little stair master and then um you know we get into our little stretches and shit <laughs> y'all i don't okay so boom for some reason like now that i'm watching back and i'm looking at myself stretching this look weird like it look elite like i don't know it look illegal like some of the stretches i'm doing is just like it don't even look like i'm doing it for real <laughs> It doesn't even look like I'm doing them correctly. But anyways, you know you want to get down low. Touch your toes. Spread them legs apart. And y'all, I'm getting lower and lower. Like, I'm trying to get in that middle split or that middle stretch. I'm trying to get a little bit low. Because I don't know what it is, but I feel like whenever, like, like you gaining muscle, like, you kind of lose flexibility. So, like, I feel like back in, like, high school, I was, like, way more flexible. But then now, like, I'm gaining more muscle, like, it's hard to, like, keep that flexibility and stuff. But, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, Don't be like me and do static stretches on leg days where you're going to be lifting. Um, I did, I don't know what it is, but, like, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a always do a, stat, a little static. <laughs> Damn, girl, can you talk steadily like a motherfucker? But... I'm going to always do a static stretch, even though I should be doing dynamic stretches. And, like, the difference, okay, so I had to blur out my cooch because, like, I don't be wearing underwear and I'm scared a lip going to pop out. But this, that, that, that's a dynamic stretch. So, you see how I'm going, like, up and down with my hips and stuff? That's a good stretch, okay? I really wish I could go into detail about, like, each stretch, but this is moving too fast and I don't got time for that. That's another dynamic stretch. The little lunges, that's a dynamic stretch. So basically, a static stretch, you just stay still. And you, like, you know, pull your muscle, pull, you know, whatever you're stretching out. But a dynamic stretch, you really go, like, back and forth with it. And, like, you rock with it. So, like, that, this stretch don't even look like I'm doing it for real. Like, it don't even look like I'm doing it correctly. But that's a static stretch. And um, I think in the next clip, okay what am i doing here butterflies um but i remember when i was like young when i was young i used to be able to like put my head on my feet like i was so flexible but like now i'm bigger it's just so hard but we gonna get there we gonna get back there okay 
So, um, what is that? What stretch is this? This stretch is helping my hamstrings. In the middle, when you go down in the middle, it helps your hips. I'm really trying to work on my hip mobility and my hip flexibility because the flexible your hips, the faster and the higher and like the more you can lift. If that makes sense. Of course that makes sense. I explained it perfectly. Um pigeon pose. Yes, that stretches out your butt. It stretches out your glutes. If you ever like squat and stuff. Bro, my butt look extra big in this angle. I promise you, it's really not that big in person. Like <laughs> I'm catfishing. No, I'm really not. But nah, the pigeon pose helps like stretch out that glute muscle. Cause you know, like, after you, like, you know, your little leg day, your goose be sore. I like that pose. I like that stretch. So, now we're going to get into a dynamic hip stretch. What I'm doing is just, you know, pulling my hips forward, pulling my leg forward. And, like, you should feel it in your hip. Like, you'll feel your hips loosen up. And then, um, you know, stretching out the hamstrings again. You already know how that go. I really don't want to record a voice a voiceover, but it is what it is. Okay, so the first exercise that we're doing, y'all, um, calves. I love me a good calf muscle. Like, I love calf muscles. Calf muscles are so attractive to me. So I'm trying to build my calf muscles. So like, when I look back at it, I be seeing them very strong calf muscles. And you know, calf muscles they um help you like you know jump higher, jump. Uh, do they help you run faster? I feel like they help you jump higher, though. Um, you know, I'm trying to up my vert. <laughs> and then um, each exercise is four sets of 10. And then, you know, I go up each set. I go up in weight each set. So for this exercise, we're doing our little, uh, it's supposed to be sumo, but my legs aren't in a wide enough stance. But the most important thing I should say, like, about, like, your squats is your depth. Like, your depth. Like, how deep you going into that squat. As you can see, my butt is basically at the same level as the bench. So, I don't have to squeeze at the top. It may look like I'm squeezing at the top, but that's just because I got a muscle booty. And, like, you can kind of, like, see the muscle. But, no, like, get low in the squat. And then, when you push up, push up through your heels... You're gonna feel it like the target, like you're gonna really feel it in that gluteus, gluteus maximus. And then I got you, and I got y'all on the angles, bro. So, as you can see, damn, I really should have got a front angle so like you could really see, like, I don't know what it is, but like whenever I squat down in my hips, I mean, when I squat down in my squat, my hips like they get bigger. I don't know, it's such a, such a aesthetically pleasing thing to see. <laughs> But, um, anyways, um, what should I call it? Next workout. Y'all don't even know if I'm in sync with the thingy majigger, but the next workout is RDLs. I'm never doing this again. This is my first time doing RDLs with a barbell, like two barbells. Usually I do it on the Smith machine or on a squat rack or with the actual full bar. But I don't know what it is, but I feel like my form was just not good like i feel like my butt was too tooted up and not booted up if that makes sense like i feel like i could get a better form on the actual like squat i'm not squat yeah the squat rack but anyways on to the next exercise that everybody loves but it's everybody freaking hates this exercise but this this is like the best exercise for you if you want to if anything bro if you want to get your booty big all you got to do is just Bulgarian split squats. Like, literally, Bulgarian split squats will make you have a dump trunk. And, like, you're going to have a motherfucking wagon, okay? So, sometimes, like, dumped. Not dumped. What, what am I saying? It's too late. I'm recording this at 3 a.m. But if you're having problems with your Bulgarian split squats, put your foot on the bench, sit down on it, and extend that next, extend that other leg forward. As you can see, my form isn't the best. I don't know what it is, but my form is always good. But it's like when I want to record, the form don't be looking right. Here's another thirst trap angle for you. As you can see, like, my legs are shaking. That's how you know, like, it's working for real, for real. Then our next exercise, 
We got us um hip thrust. Let me tell y'all, bro, tell me why this little girl, well, she's not little, she's a grown-ass woman, <laughs> but why did she think it was okay to hog two machines at once? So she was on Smith, mach- she was on some other machine for your butt, and she was on the hip thrust machine. Like, I feel like when I'm on the hip thrust machine, my form is perfect, but when I'm on this bench, it's just awful. Like, I couldn't, I don't know, I just couldn't, I don't know, like, do I put my head towards the ceiling, or do I, like, make my neck in line with my torso, whatever it is, but next workout, hip abductors, this is another good, like, dump trunk exercise, what I like to do is I like to go heavy on this, I think the heaviest I've done on this is, like, maybe, like, 190, not to brag, but my booty kind of (laughs) strong, But I like to sit, lean forward, and then, like, sit up in between each set. And, like, yeah, that that kind of works for me. But I saw this TikTok of this dude saying, like, the hip abductor, hip abductor machine is useless. But literally everybody in the comics says otherwise. And I personally say otherwise, too. Because, like, I mean, look at the results. The hip abductor machine definitely working on me. Next exercise hip i mean not hip girl that's most definitely a hamstrings hamstring extensions i'm trying to get some strong hamstrings because i want to be able to you know like i said jump higher wait do i want to jump higher i want to get strong calves i mean i want to get strong yeah strong calves strong quads so right now i'm doing my quad extensions i'm trying to be a quad mommy okay like i'm trying to get real big thunder thigh quads so i'm doing like a singular leg uh extension and then both leg extensions because one of my goals is to be able to crush a watermelon with my thighs and i promise you like once i get there every time i see a watermelon i'm crushing it i'm crushing it with my thighs because like everybody gotta know i can crush a watermelon with my thighs because this this ain't no joke. The pain, sweat, and tears that I put into working out, it ain't no joke. Everybody gonna have to know I can crush a watermelon with my thighs. So, what's this? Singular leg extension. Leg press, that's what it is. It looks like my knee is fully extended, but it's not. You do not want to hyperextend your knees because you will cause an injury. And you'll hurt your poor knees. And, you know, we need our knees because our knees are important. So, I do one leg left leg right leg both legs and then after that one of my favorite favorite exercises for um your hip flexors and for hip mobility and strength is the kettlebell hip lift now you gotta take your shoes off for this one that's how you know a workout is serious when you gotta take your shoes off for it so boom take your shoes off kick it to the side get you a little kettlebell um I think when I first started doing this exercise, I was at 10 pounds, and now I'm at 15. So, that's how you know, like, my hips are getting stronger. Like, 10 pound, a 10-pound kettlebell lift is, like, easy for me. But it burns. Like, it hits a certain target in your hip that, like, you cannot hit with any other exercise. It doesn't matter if you do fire hydrants or hip abductors. This target's, like that inside hip muscle so what it does it it helps you the tiktok said it helps you with balance and you can go up at least like if you consistently do this you could at least go up like 90 pounds in your squat which i thought was crazy and i low-key think that's cap but i'm gonna put it to the test though and then it helps you uh jump faster and jump higher and run faster so if you do track and field and you a football player like you need to be doing hip i mean what's it called kettlebell hip lifts kettlebell hip lifts are the goat and i love this exercise probably one of my favorites because i'm getting stronger with it and then like hopefully like by the end or probably like soon i'll be able to get on like the little exercise ball and like balance on it but anyways as you can see i am tired and we're done with the workout like that was a good workout this was a really good workout like i had a really good time at the gym today well on that day but anyways yeah all right so i just came out the shower it's 9 53 i didn't check back in when i got breakfast so i already got breakfast you know what i'm saying breakfast wasn't really hitting at the donna hall today i just had a uh, french toast 
some scrambled eggs and uh what else bro that's some crispy ass crunchy ass bacon i do not like crispy crunchy bacon like if the bacon is hard and crunchy like if the bacon sound like i'm eating some chill if the bacon sound like i'm eating lays no i don't want it because it, it, i don't understand it's just, if it's crunchy you can't really taste it but if it's soft like you get like the juicy you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying however like I said, I just got out the shower and I'm dressed for class. My class is at my first. Okay, so boom. I got this one class. The teacher, he always, he stay canceling, uh, what should we call it? He stay canceling class. That class was supposed to be at 8.30. But I literally got an email while I was working out saying, oh, no class today. So I ain't even tripping on that. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even been in that class in a minute. <laughs> It is what it is. But my math class is at 10.30. Now it's 9.55. From my dorm to the west side of campus where my class be, my class be at, it's like a good 20 minute walk. So I usually start walking like at around 10. Sometimes I don't even start walking to like 10.20. <laughs> I sometimes I just don't be caring. But however, uh, the fit, the fit is real simple. Uh, I gotta ignore everything in the background. But I got a cute little black sundress and then I got on my Ugg slides. I hate walking in these slides, but I don't want to put on shoes and I don't really got sh I don't, I don't want to put on shoes and I don't want to put on sandals. So I'm just stuck with these in the slides. But overall, I mean, it's cute. Cute little simple fit. And I just did my hair. You already know, when I did my hair, it is it's over with. It is over with. Let me show you my little hair. Cause girl, let me show you. Oh. Come on now. Come on now. Yes ma'am. I love this hair so much. It's like the color, the curl pattern, everything. And hold on. The best part is how well I melted this lace. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. It's a little mark. I hate the fact whenever I tie my band, it'd be like a mark. But this is what it's giving. This is what it's giving. I hate saying that, but I don't know why it's so addicted to say. I think it's cute. So it's chill. I'm not doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Some slight. Some slight. But it's 9:57 right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to head to class, cause because i don't feel like walking fast today like i feel like just strolling and i don't think it's too hot outside so oh my god it's almost 80 degrees i hate when i don't know what it is but i just don't like it when it can be getting too hot or maybe getting too cold like i just can't with the weather like no nah, i'm never happy with the weather <laughs> okay so this is where things start to get a little bit confusing for you so keep up in the next clip oh by the way um literally all i did was come back home come back to my dorm and then fell asleep that's literally my day in my life i go to class i work out go to class eat here and there go to sleep wake up eat again go to sleep but i recorded a little bit of footage from the little baby concert so i was like you know what let me just throw this in toss this in there and make the vibe a little bit exciting so my hair color and my hair style is gonna completely change so yeah I just thought I should let you know before you get confused. Right now, I'm getting ready for the little baby concert, right? It is 18.32, so that means it's 6.32. The concert, it's supposed to start at, the doors open up at 7.30, so I got an hour left, and I'm trying to get there in like the next 30 minutes. So I'm washed washed up uh wash face my hair is fine i just need to like recurl it so i got the curling iron hot and ready so we can get ready to go and then my outfit bro my outfit i got like three four outfit ideas i can't decide what i want to do so like boom i got these shorts and then i got these low-waisted pants now the thing is if i wear these low-waisted pants like my belly i gotta suck it in you know what i'm saying because i'm trying to wear like a crop top with the low-waisted thing like you know like you get that you know yeah okay so boom right 
I'm trying to wear these low low waisted jeans so they're gonna be down here and then I'm gonna try to wear this little crop top right but like you have to like tie it you have to tie it in the front it's like up here so like I really hope you understand the vision so low waisted jeans right mm -hmm. and a little crop top but then I was looking at it and I was just like Ugh, it's giving I don't know like in my head it look good but like i just don't want to put it on and then not like it and then have to like waste time and like change so this is the second option so i got this little bodysuit right and it has like gold chain on like the shoulders so i wear this bodysuit right mm -hmm. and then i got these little jeans and i'm gonna wear this with like white air forces so i got these little jeans right i feel like this will look really good so I think I just might just go with this outfit. I'm talking real fast because like I'm not trying to waste time. It's already uh 6:34. I spent two minutes talking to you trying to demonstrate this when I could have been putting these clothes on. But let me get to it. Let me get ready and change because I'm not trying to be late to this little baby, the little baby concert. Cause it's the first time. Well, probably not the first time, but it probably is the first time LSU had like somebody like real like important come to the school, like perform for the school. I know they had Sway Lee. Child. <laughs> We had Sway Lee for homecoming, and it's not like Sway Lee is bad, but it's just like he not like top three rappers of today. Like top three rappers of today is like Young Boy, Dirk, and the Baby. Like those are people that are doing numbers like right now. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll put like Gunna, you know, I'll squeeze Gunna and like you know what I'm saying. You know I love me some Gunna, so I'll squeeze Gunna in in the top three. But like it's little baby, bitch. Like ooh. literally, bitch. I've been so excited. I've been so excited this whole entire day. I was just in my workout, just happy. Cause like, girl, I'm gonna see my baby. Okay, so right now it's 6.43 and I'm, boom, I'm dressed. I'm ready to go, I'm dressed. Not ready to go, but I'm dressed, okay? Ignore like the dirty floor. You know what I'm saying? I got the little Air Forces, yeah, yeah. Cute little jean, cute little jean, jean short and like this. I really wanted to go all out. But like, I just wanna keep it chill. I don't wanna keep it chill, you know what I'm saying? Just keep it chill. Now I gotta focus on my hair. It, damn, I'm really trying to leave at like seven o'clock. Like, And mind you, I live on the east side of campus and the concert is at the basketball arena at the PMAC. So the PMAC is on the west side of campus, meaning it's a 30 minute walk. But I'm gonna use the little campus transit, uh, whatchamacallit, but I'm gonna use the campus transit, but, and then get me there. A little bit quicker and i'm gonna go meet up with my friends there how are we gonna do this hair there's only one way we can do it i straightened out this hair what was it last saturday and bro i had cut layers in the hair right this was so embarrassing i had cut layers in the hair while it was still curly because i wanted to give it more like a body you know like you know when like your hair is like in a deep wave or like curled and then like you cut it it gives more layers and like more layers equals more body so like you see what i'm saying like i had a couple more layers into it and then i straightened it out and you can see like the hard like in dance of like the cuts of where i cut my hair but thankfully my best friend told me like it was looking a little crazy at the back y'all need to get y'all a little bestie like mine who gonna tell you what it is and tell you what it ain't because thank god for her because i would have been walking outside looking crazy bro these synthetic wigs have really been really been given go ahead get this part pushed back do a little quick touch up for the edges curl up i kind of want my curls to like frame my face a little bit more just a little bit more so ready i feel like hold on y'all my friend called me yeah you almost ready yeah i'm dressed and uh, i'm dressed too i'm done i gotta do a street set on i'm not going <laughs> it's cute though yeah i'm gonna go yeah i'm gonna go meet up with you over there okay because i'm about to go and then i'll get in line with my friends and then just let me know whenever you're here so then you can come and get in line with us too okay bet all right bye oh it's seven o'clock but it's seven o'clock it's a six forty seven okay you know what the curls the curls are just gonna be it's gonna have to look like this the one thing I do not like about synthetic hair is that it can get tangled real fast. Like, as soon as it touches, like, a drop of sweat, it's already tangled. Do you hear that? Oh, my God. That's embarrassing. You can brush a thousand times. This shit still... Oh, my God. Y'all just gonna have to act like y'all didn't hear that because, no. <laughs> it's just gonna have to look like that because... Oh my god. Let me do the edges. That's what really matters. Boom. I love 
I don't want to put my hot comb on because there's really no need for it when I got a color art and I can just use it as like a hot comb and like smooth out the top, you know what I'm saying, make it real flat. And then let me work on these sideburns and these edges and I'll be right back. When it come to change, hit one in his back. There's no work from 64. From 65th, we not from 63rd. Bitch, we not from 63rd. Okay, so. I look mad pale. I am mad pale, but I promise you I'm not pale. This is the final look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Girl, follow us, follow. Y'all. 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 <laughs> okay. So, I uh, call my bus. And it's coming. It says it's coming at 7.02. So, it's 6.57. So, I need to leave right now. That would be the smart thing to do is to leave right now. Mm-hmm. I'm just catch out when I'm there. <sighs> okay, yeah. This vlog is like all over the place, but today is my last day in Louisiana. Ah! Freshman year done, complete, finito, done. Freshman year over with, done. Like we did that. And now my room, my room is all boom. Like it's it's done. Like please don't fall. But my room, like it's empty now. Like it's all empty. It's done. Okay, I'm praying this camera do not fall, but. Bro, I'm done with my freshman year. This was my roommate's side of the bed, but she transferred on me. It's my side, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? This used to be my old little desk. My, my old little desk, you know what I'm saying? This was like a little pantry, you know what I'm saying? Y'all knew y'all saw all them cleaning supplies. I ain't no dirty hoe. Uh, this, my old closet. Oh, my second old closet, bro. Done, finito. Goodbye, Hergit Hall. Yeah, uh huh. Never again, honey. Goodbye, Hergit Hall. Goodbye, Dirty Herg. Goodbye, Her Ghetto. You're done. You're done. Done for. I'm never coming back. It's finito. Done. Freshman year. We good. We good. We good. We did it, bro. Like, I don't think you understand, man. I don't think you understand. But I'm dead. Like, for real. Like, I'm done with my freshman year at LSU. I'm not gonna miss them loud folks in the hallway, like, no, nah, for real. But I'm, uh, let's look at it. Let's look at our room one more time. Like, oh my god, oh my gosh! I'm so happy to leave. Like, I'm happy. I'm happy. Like, I'm happy. Like, 
we're done. We're, we're done. We did it.